the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May your Spirit, Lord, guide me everywhere I go. Make me a channel through which your blessings flow. May your Spirit, Lord, guide me everywhere I go. Make me a channel through which your blessings flow. For our good night message on this Monday, the 10th of May 2021, broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University, Rome, Italy, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. We listen to this encouraging message in line with the gospel passage of today entitled, The Holy Spirit is Our Helper. Make me a channel through which your blessings flow. May your spirit, Lord, guide me everywhere I go. Make me a channel through which your blessings flow. Today we read from John chapter 15, verse 26 to chapter 16, verse 4a. Jesus promising his disciples, we are getting worried, we are feeling helpless that he was going to leave them. And he told them, when the helper comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will bear witness about me. God promises to help us. He promises that he will not leave us alone. He will make sure that he comes to our aid. That is the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. If you go to Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10 to 13, God is saying, I will help you. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. All who rage against you will surely be ashamed and disgraced. Those who oppose you will be as nothing and perish. Though you search for your enemies, you will not find them. Those who wage war against you will be as nothing at all. For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand, says the Lord. Do not fear, I will help you. God promises to help us. From this passage, we see that the help God promises to give us comes in three ways. When we are weak, there will certainly be those times of weakness, but God promises to help us by strengthening us at such times. When we are about to fall, because there will be times that it appears you are falling spiritually, or your marriage is falling, business is failing, or career is falling. At such times, you won't be left helpless. God will uphold us with his righteous hand so we don't fall and suffer a great crash. When we are surrounded by enemies, People are opposing you and raging against you. We are in an ongoing battle and we are daily faced with seen and unseen enemies. Right now we have COVID-19 as the enemy we face, physical as well as spiritual enemies. But God promises to help us by putting those enemies to shame and disgrace and driving them away from us such that we will look for those enemies but they will be nowhere to be found. We will look for that problem that has been troubling us and realize that the problem has quietly disappeared. I pray this will be your portion. That after tonight's good night message, you will discover that all those that have been opposing you and coming against you are nowhere to be found because the helper, the Holy Spirit of the helpless has sent help to you. 
Psalm 46 verse 1 refers to God as a timely, ever-present help. That verse tells us that God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Verse 2 and 3 goes on to say that even if the whole world is falling apart, there is trouble and calamity everywhere you turn. You can count on God to send you help at such times. Indeed, there is so much trouble and calamity in this world today. Nothing seems to be working. There is so much lack and hardship. People are losing jobs, contracts, businesses because of COVID-19 effects. There are so many complaints and lamentations, but God is assuring us through this psalm that no matter how bad things turn or get, you can count on God to send you help and to come and help you. God will never leave you alone or stranded when you are faced with difficulties. It is through the Holy Spirit that God fulfills his promise to help us, that God manifests himself to us as an ever-present help. In the gospel passage we read today, Jesus close to his ascension to heaven told his disciples that he would pray to the Father to send another helper who would abide permanently with them. The Holy Spirit is an ever-present helper. One of the reasons why God has given us the Holy Spirit is so no child of God is ever left stranded. But in whatever situation you find yourself, whether it is a time of weakness, a time when it appears you, your ministry, your marriage, your business is falling, or you are facing satanic opposition and resistance, you will have someone much stronger than you right there with you to help you come out of such situations. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. May I bring your compassion to the abandoned. The unloved and neglected your protection And may all those in sorrow and in grief Find consolation in you and believe May your spirit, Lord, guide me everywhere I go Make me a channel through which your blessings flow May your spirit, Lord, guide me everywhere channel through which your blessings flow. channel through which your blessings flow.